this church in Germany, where Ted had never been, or this blurred writing identified as a sign from a Mounties building. But in Ted's version, the word Canadian seems to be misspelt. This is a Stanger Wing airplane. This is what Ted got. Here you will notice that the strut here is an inverted V. Up here he has re-inverted it so that this is his typical signature. Now this type of rearrangement is exactly what we do in dreams. Exactly. No, don't even trigger it. When I say now, uh, roll something mm. bang like that. I got a good idea. Could Ted have been cheating? Impossible, says Eisenbud. Ted was continually observed by dozens of people, sometimes six, eight in a session. Ted usually held a tube of paper in front of the lens. He called it his gizmo and said it helped concentrate his thoughts. Ted's last photograph was of curtains, but that was ten years ago. Can he produce anything now? I'm after one thing. And that's a person that's whole in something. Okay. okay. But all he got was his face. Now you press the button. All right. Undaunted, Ted and Jewel work on into the night. Trying everything they know to recapture the spirit of success. You want to take some film juice? <laughs> you know, Randy's going to like this. this is, uh, we hey, did this uh, night oh. after night for three years. <clears throat> the sessions would last six, eight hours. And at the beginning, nothing would happen. But later, in those original sessions, weird pictures would often emerge. How did it happen? 